Blessings, blessings, blessings. Cause can't nobody do me like Jesus, for he's my friend. Can't nobody <clears throat> do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Come on, come in, come in, come in. Okay, I'm going to say what I have to say. And whenever you get an opportunity, you can look at the replays. Um, this video is pertaining to the Bowers family. To the Bowers family. God bless you, uh, Dr. Pastor, Apostle Irene Houston. I'm making this video um, for the Bowers family, my family, where my brother passed on this past Monday. My elder brother passed on this past Monday, uh, January 25th, 2021. I've been the pro been in the process since that time. In the process of getting healed, trying to be well, of keep pulling together pictures to uh, kind of make a family, um, I don't know what I would call it, but the Bowers family is huge. The Bowers family is huge. Tony was my father's second son. My father has about 15 children. Some of them he was married to the mothers, some of them he was not. But that is not my call nor my responsibility to judge who God allows to come through whose loins. So I honor and respect all 15 of my brothers and sisters that came from my father. Tony is the second son of my father by his first wife, whose name was Olga. Olga died in childbirth in giving birth to Tony, her second son. So Tony lived all of his life without a natural mother. He had the greatest uh, second mom that there could ever be, which would be my Aunt Genevieve, Aunt Genevieve Astorba, of Bakersfield, California. Most everybody in the family called her granny because she was the go-to person for a family of 15. My father had 15 brothers and sisters, and all of whoever, they would always end up at Aunt Genevieve's home. So Aunt Genevieve Astorba was Tony's uh, mother. She was his auntie, but she is the one who did raise Tony. After Tony's uh, mother died, after Olga died, then my father met my mother. He married my mother when she was 19. And my father was 39. My father liked younger women. <laughs> but nonetheless, she was not able to uh, help him raising Tony. And Butch, my older brother Butch, is already gone. He's gone on before Tony. Because my mother was 19 and her stepchildren were like 9 and 10. She tried, but she was doing good to raise herself. When she started having children, it was a little bit too much for her. So that's why my mother did not... Um, Planned then. then my father married my mother and had three children, three Bowers children, Warner Bowers, Frank Bowers, and me, Pamela Bowers. And um, from just from me, just from me, I have 24 Bowers sibs. When I say Bowers, I married a Murphy, so they're Murphys. Um, but the lineage from the Bowers, I have 20 eight and one in the oven of the great granddaughter's birthday does happen to be today. My great 10th great granddaughter, her birthday is today. She's one years old today. Happy birthday, ABC. Elena Bailey Creighton is her name. I call her ABC. So again, what I'm doing this quick video for is to let you know that I did do a video of pictures, which I'm going to be posting. Um, Tony had three wives. Um, and he may have had some children outside of the wives. I'm not sure we never did a DNA, but I met a young lady who said that she was either his daughter or someone else. It was two people that her mother was fooling with. She said both of the men looked similar, looked alike. She was not sure. Her name was Hazel. So when I met Hazel in Arizona, um, I don't know, about 10 years ago, I'd say. She looked like me, talked like me, 
look just like my sister Hazel. And so we just said, well, if you think Tony was your father, then you my niece. So I included her in the video because I don't want anyone to be excluded. People try to hide things and families hide things. People don't want family to know their dirty laundry. We're a family and all families got issues. Mine is no different from anyone else's. But Tony is gone. I want to honor Tony. I want to honor his children, his grandchildren. He had a beautiful daughter, Kim, who I met when she was about a year old, which is in the video when she was a year old, when I met her. She now has a daughter who has a daughter who my brother never even got to meet. So Kim had a daughter and three sons who are who will be in the video. So I'm just putting this out here so that there's no confusion, any questions that y'all may have to ask. I think I'm explaining them to you right now. So if you doubt this reference, people, go look at the video. Go on YouTube, um, Facebook, look at the video. It tells you everything that you wanted to know and was afraid to ask. It's on there. Okay, so I mentioned he married Olga. Uh, uh, Olga, and then uh, Tony's second wife was Sherry. No, 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 no. No, 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 I'm all confused. Tell me my daddy married over. Tony's first wife was Lindsay, who is Kim's mother. I just talked about Kim. Lindsay had Kim. And um, then Tony was married to Lindsay. He divorced Lindsay, and he married Sherry Bowers, who is his second wife. And I think on some of the titles on the pictures, I put third wife. I'm sorry, Sherry, I didn't mean it, didn't mean it. I think I tried to correct it by putting a little lead on underneath the videos where Sherry was his second wife, who he was married to for 36 years, and they had a son, Tony. Tony says he's Tony the Third on his Facebook stuff. I don't know how that could be when he's his junior, so I don't know. But he goes by Tony the Third. All I know is he's Tony Jr., so I don't know. Um, and then he... Um, his final wife was Jean, who he moved to Mississippi with, uh, where he died. And we're not sure the exact circumstances behind how he died, but we do know he died. He was very distant, very secretive, very to himself when it came to his family. I met Jean. And she said she didn't even know he had a large family. He would never introduce her to anybody, never. None of the family. She didn't get to know any of the family except Irma. Irma Cole, he did get in touch with her. So he was a secretive man in his life. And so what I've done is ask people, and I'm asking you now, any of the family members out there who may have pictures, and you say, oh, she didn't put me in there. I, she didn't, I'm not meaning to exclude anybody. Trust me. I've been working for three days trying to pull this stuff together and not feeling well in the process, but I did the best I could. If you have pictures that you want me to include, I can put them on the back end of this video that I will be putting as soon as I finish this live broadcast. Send them pictures in Messenger. Send them to me. Call me. I won't put my phone number on live here, but most everybody that need to have my number has my number. Or you can get my phone number from another family member because um, I'm open. I don't, I don't got nothing to hidden or disclose in my life. Praise God. Um, is that Sharma? Look like Sean McCall. Thank you. Thank you, sis. Thank you, sister Irene. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. He was 80 years old. He lived a long, full life. My family has a life longitude. They lived quite a while. He lived to 80. His latter days were not as good as his former days. He was in the Air Force. He was a correctional officer. And um, I think he was in San Quentin. So um, he was there also. God bless you, Teresa Anointed Messenger Wilkins. Hi, baby. How are you? Haven't seen you in a long time on the broadcast. But anyway, so I just wanted to say that to the Bowers family. Uh, we have a lot of um, a lot of Bowers that are Pattersons, that are Coles, that are um, various other names. Um, so if you're part of the Bowers family, and you have pictures. Hey, Dino, I love you, cuz. I love you. Dino, if you have any pictures, I'm, I'm getting ready to drop a video that I made. I've been working on for three days for Tony, trying to pull pictures together of him, family members. I've got in talk with the, contact with the various wives, pictures of them and him. 
If you have any picture of you and him or other family members that you would like to be added to the video that I'm going to launch, please send them to me. You got my phone number, cuz. Or messenger them to me, and I will add them into it. Um, this is my, my way of closure for me, for healing of me. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Teresa. This is healing for me. This is what I'm doing. I won't be able. He was in Mississippi. Um, his his wishes were to be cremated. So I don't know that there'll be any kind of official service or whatever the case may be. He was not a brother that was close to me or to anybody, but he was my brother. Hey, as a child of God, we are to honor our life. We're to honor our family, whether near or far. If they got the blood, they got the same blood running in their vein, they my family. Praise God. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. Okay, I'm getting ready to shut this live down. Again, I'm going to drop the video right after this live. So any questions that you might have about the video, please look at this first. And this should answer those questions. All right, don't be judgmental. If I did something wrong, oh well. But as the elder sister, as the elder sister, I'm doing my part, what I feel I need to do, what the Lord has given me to do. Okay, God bless those of you who come to the seven minute read. We are still doing the seven minute read of the Bible every evening at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are in our third, going into our fourth year. We've already read it all the way through. We're reading it all the way through again into completed our first year of the second series of the seven minute read. All right. God bless you. And uh, we'll see you at 7 p.m. Pray for me. Thank you. God bless.